It's walking around in my backyard with the Hero 10 Black set to the maximum resolution, 5.3K resolution, 24 frames a second, and uh, I had some nice like uh, sunlight coming through here. Got a flat color profile so I can grade the color later. It's uh, Thursday morning. So yeah, just going to check out what this thing actually looks like. Never used it with this super high powered setting before. I doubt my computer can even handle it. Well, let's have a look at the landscape. And uh, yeah, there it is with the sky behind me. Let's see what that looks like. That's junk. I'm totally black. Totally black. Okay. Well, let me flip around and look at that. Isn't that nice? All right. Cool. I got the max media mod on the camera now. It gives this super wide, like, big impression. But it can also do stuff like this. Now, I don't know what that ends up looking like in the... In the video, I mean, we get like a horizon shot here, and you can like do this sort of shit. I don't know what it even does. Okay, watching it back, I realize it has like an unbreakable like horizon level. Or like, I don't know, I'm turn turning the camera completely upside down and flipping it completely around, and it never even shows that I move the camera. It always just stays like I bob on it all over the place. Right Incredible. Max lens mod on the Hero 10. I don't know, I, maybe I could dig this. I don't know, let's see, like, look at that, like, trim board behind me. It's like, Wah. that's that fisheye thing that these wide lenses do that kind of sucks. But, I mean, you don't need, like, a, a gimbal or a tripod or anything. I mean, you don't, like, you just freaking wiggling the camera all over the place. Nothing, it doesn't, you, it, incredible what this thing is capable of doing here. But I don't know about that fisheye. Maybe it's something I can cut out and post, right? I don't know. I might like it. Plus, it lets me shoot in 2.7, which I just I like for some reason. I don't know. Probably it's a win. I still wonder if it's a little wide for doing like, 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 like talking to the camera like I'm doing right now. But let's we'll see what it ends up looking like. I don't have the media mod hooked to it or anything. I'm just talking into the I don't know. I guess the front camera. But I'm pretty sure it does like stereo audio too. I have these birds in the background, so when I listen to this back, I'm gonna check it versus like putting like a big road mic or something on top of it and uh you only get mono audio and it, it might sound a little fake compared to like i'm actually standing outside and i think this will help it really sound like that so i got the camera like right in the wind so let's see are we hearing any of this like nasty crap i'm talking i'm not even talking that loud traffic in the background let's see how the hero 10 stock mics is just picking up this standing in my backyard audio here with wind directly in the camera I'm behind the camera this time, but again, I got the camera's like uh, heading right directly into the wind. I was trying to hear if it's making a bunch of racket or not. So I don't know. I think the uh, Max video lens might be a good buddy of mine. I don't know. It, uh, if I can do something about what I think is going to be a nasty fisheye on the edges of the video, it'd probably be cool. I can also tell that the dynamic range on this thing, because the, it's so wide that I can't cut the sky out of the shot unless I, like, do this. Now I'll get good dynamic range. But you also have an odd perspective, don't you? Now look at me all lit up like an angel in the sunlight, plus I can't see now. I don't know, we're gonna have to ch we'll look at these videos back and see what exactly it looks like all post-pop. And uh, I'll, I'll let you guys know. So I'm using the back to the normal lens on the camera, but now I got it back at 5.3K, 24 frames a second. I'm walking through some shadow sunlight, shadow sunlight. Just looking to see the, that dynamic range again. That's the difference between the, uh, the whites and the darks in our image. Also, it's pretty windy here. So we're looking, we're listening for wind noise. We're trying to see if we're making all kinds of racket or not. Now this also has a bit of a horizon leveler, but not quite like that. That max lens thing where you don't even need a gimbal or anything. That thing just holds steady no matter what. Also listen to this crunching of the leaves under my feet while I talk. 
Worst part about hiking videos, crunching leaves, crunching leaves. It can be extremely annoying. Here we go. Look at that difference between like the dark side and the light side. Five point three K. Let's see how really cool it is. Resolution. I think what they did with this five point three K thing is um, GoPros can't really zoom in. They have like a small digital zoom on them that barely matters. But what you could do in post when you take it back to your computer is you can use the five three footage and you can crop it in and get a like a zoom ish like feature out of it. You can really get in tighter with it without losing any resolution or starting to show pixels and things. I think rather than some super high resolution, just regular video like I'm showing you now, crop it in and that's when you are getting a still high resolution but like a, a stronger digital zoom.